G'day gamers, Ranger Tony here with another episode of Season 2 of our playthrough of Pathfinder Kingmaker Van Holds Lot, where we play through as a party full of archers using the turn-based combat mod. When last we left off, we have done the southern part of the Tomb's Threshold map. We're going to head on up. Um, I do know that we have to come up and over here somewhere. I don't know whether it's here or here, but... Um, I've only been through this section once before, so I don't remember it too well. But we obviously have another fight here. Um, cultists, necromancer, and alchemist, and a few centaurs. The centaurs are essentially going to be harder. Um, so we do want to take them out first still, I think. Lovely critical hit there, Drek. Well done. That's m actually most of the centaurs down. I think I'm going to move Cephal just to there and then wait. Um, it's tempting to move some of these people up. Because, you know, we do need to be able to see some more of these opponents so that we can attack. Ooh, what a terrible miss. But then we get a wonderful crit like that. And then a sneak attack, and they're dead. That is very encouraging. Drek, we want you to come up here as well. And we're going to target the Alchemist next. Yeah, that's a good idea because they just killed that other Centaur. So they're all going to come after us now. The snowball to the face is a good start. Fern, I'm going to get you to drink a portion. Very good. Can we finish this, please, Belda? As I said previously, I don't know if I absolutely cannot rest. I mean, 
yeah, we can. It, it is going to let us rest. It would tell us already if we're not allowed to rest here. So technically we could try and rest somewhere and get some more spells, but it just doesn't feel right. Even though technically those camping supplies seem like a hint that we should be resting. Nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But we're not going to. And that's why we want to take out the centaurs first, because they just decimated those guys. Nice sneak attack. Couple of hits, including a crit. I didn't, I didn't want to have him move that close. Um, let's just do a bless rather than a full prayer. I'm just careful about how, how close I get. I, mean, I do want to take these centaurs out, but there is an archer back there who's just going to pummel us, and I want to make sure that I've got people like Baldur and Drek the ones taking the lead on that because they've got the heavier armor. Because as soon as this guy is dead, these three are going to rush forward. And the centaur bowman doesn't even have to rush forward to attack us. It's a little dangerous putting tracery out in the front like that, considering that it's the bowman's turn next. Thankfully, they've still concentrated on me. Okay, I'm going to move forward. Really do wish we had a hold spell that would work on these guys, but they're either too big as in physically too big, or they're too high a level. I don't want to waste a grease on just one centaur. I mean, it will be useful if I can take the bowmen and get them to lie down for a while. They can't be hitting me instead. Oh, and there is Cephal right out in the middle of it all again. No, sorry, Cephal. If you can't cast the spell, get out of the way. That's some good hits there.
But if we're trading hits, you've got to do better than that. Okay. Some heals. We're all back to normal. So, all the actions over this way to the east. Okay. So, this is Ecora Silver Fire. This was the um, centaur that was mentioned by the first group of centaurs when we were in the Hollow Eyes area, whatever it was called. Um, we don't need to fight. So that religious one is probably the best option there. Instead of wasting our effort, damn it. So the first time this happened, it concerned me, and then I realized that no, it was just getting ambushed by more cultists. And it's only a handful of them, so we really don't need to worry too much, and these guys are on our side now. It does mean we don't want any uh, fireballs or other area of effect spells to take out these guys. Probably should have used whole person on him there, but anyway. So what's basically happening here is is he's trying to open the door and it's not quite working properly. Um, and you basically end up having to wait. Uh, so this gives you a chance to rest up and heal up and everything. And in particular, after you rest up, um, I can't think of her name, the female, the uh, quartermaster uh, will appear and you can sell up to her and... Um, and buy any new stuff that you're looking for, etc., etc. Um, let's come over here and loot this for a start, because we hadn't looted that before. And let's loot a few of these bodies, because we can now, and then we're going to rest. Don't... Hmm. Don't want javelins. What's in this? Oh, very nice. Ring of protection. No, just a standard great sword. Don't want it. Yeah, I'll take all of that. See what we got over here. Well, yeah, okay, we can. 
can basically just take everything now because if we can sell it all after we rest, there's no problems. I don't think it'll stop us from resting because we're encumbered or anything. So one of these things, uh, you can pause and read it yourself if you want. So here she is, Jetty or or whatever it is. What is Gunderson doing? Hanging around the taverns. You can actually get her to, to bring the other guys so you can reformat your party if you want to. Uh, let's get rid of all of this. Oh, hang on a sec. So you've got a plus two ring, you can have a plus two ring. None of us are using... Oh, that's right, she's at the level now where she can use a breastplate, and we might give him that chain. Um, okay. So we can sell the rest of that now. Now, let's see if there's any decent missile weapons that she's carrying now. Because she will be carrying some more than she was previously, I think. So there's a flaming light crossbow. Were any of us using light crossbows? You were. How much money do we have? 16 grand. We can afford a flaming... And there's a flaming longbow as well. Is that composite longbow or not? No. Hmm. Would be tempting to get that as well. What else is there? A frost composite longbow. Ooh. That would be the better option. What else is there? Heavy crossbow plus two. Shock composite short bow. Is there anything super impressive in the way of armor? Okay, so what bow do I have? I just have a standard composite longbow plus one. So let's sell that. And you just have a standard masterwork. So let's do that. And so I get the frost bow and you get the fire crossbow. And we don't really have enough to save up for anything, to buy anything else. And I think we just leveled. Why couldn't we have done that outside? I can't remember if there's a fight immediately or not. Okay. Let's level us up.
Greater weapon focus, I think. One more to attack. So one more to hit with the longbow. Our Divine Hunter. It's now plus five on his decks, which is nice. And he gets the new weapon bonds. And let's just see, do we have any, I meant to do this, do we have any new spell slots for you? We do, some second level spells. I thought we'd already done second level spells for you. Maybe not. Uh, yeah, actually I thought we were doing Blessing of Courage and Life. Maybe I forgot, maybe I was doing that in a different playthrough. Our cleric. And let's check what spell. Oh, no, what spells she's got that we can add in. Another prayer would be nice. And what do we want here? Divine power. What does that do? Only affects the caster. Only affects melee weapons. Uh, we could use restoration, but we need um, the diamond dust for that. We sold it all just before. I don't want to show, do any of that. That's only for you. I think we're just going to take cure critical wounds for now. Let's level up Varn. Eighth level rogue. And we're going to take a combat trick, and we're going to take precise shot, just to make him that little bit better. Do we have rapid shot yet? Nope. Okay, Cephal. are fourth level spells. What are we going to take? Um, Ice Storm, definitely. And Volcanic Storm. Brilliant, let's set spells for him. Another magic missile, won't go astray. Couple more burning arcs. He's getting most of these bonuses because of his intelligence increase. Uh, let's see. Another stinking cloud and another fireball. And then we're gonna do a single ice storm and a volcanic storm. See how they go. Haven't really used them, I don't think. And then our Magus third level spells. Fireball and slow. I really wanna I really wanna give her slow. I think that will be useful. And she's got another second level. Let's do another glitter dust. I found that a pretty good one as well. Just in case. But I think that's probably a decent time to stop for this episode. So thank you very much for joining me for this episode of Pathfinder Keymaker Van Hold's Lot. Uh, season 2 playthrough with our party of archers all, uh, and we're using the turn-based combat mod. If you enjoyed this episode, please give me a like and share it with your friends. Be sure, be sure to subscribe to keep up to date with all the latest episodes, and I'll see you for the next one. Thanks a lot. Bye.